Hello, and welcome to the Plant Breeding and Genomics Community of Practice webinar, Introduction to R Statistical Software, Application to Plant Breeding. My name is Heather Merck, and I am the Content Coordinator for the Plant Breeding and Genomics Community of Practice. I am also a member of the Tomato Breeding and Genetics Program at Ohio State University. I obtained my Honors Bachelor of Science from the University of Toronto in Canada, and my PhD in Genetics from the Pennsylvania State University. My PhD research focused on identification and mapping of disease resistance genes in tomato. So let's move on now to the presentation. So I'd like to begin with a brief introduction to our software, including the rationale for using R and how to obtain the free software. Afterwards, we'll open up R, demonstrate some basic commands using sample data. And this sample data is freely available online. And we'll conclude the web presentation by providing resources where you can learn more about using R and where you can obtain help. Before moving any further, I would like to present the learning objectives for the webinar. So this webinar is designed to provide you with skills and resources to install and run R, find our packages and install and load them, read in data and visualize distributions, test if there are differences between varieties, using ANOVA with linear regression, distinguish varieties using means and t-tests, estimate variance components, and use loops to simplify analysis. And I'd just like to provide a word of caution that learning R, like any other software or language, will require an investment of time. And my goal here today is to provide you with an introduction and some basic tools to help you get started. So first, a little bit about R. So R is an open source programming language for statistical analysis and graphing. It was developed based on S at the Bell Labs, who also developed Unix. So you'll see some similarities between commands in Unix and commands in R, which will provide some benefit, clearly, if you have experience with Unix. One of the big powers of R is that it provides us with a language, a tool, and an environment all in one package. And this is one of its great strengths and gives it a lot of f power and flexibility. And within R, functions and analyses are stored as objects, which allows us to modify the functions and build models. As well, there are many packages for specific applications that are already available and that are continuously being developed. So one of the largest and perhaps most well-developed examples is the Bioconductor Project for analysis and comprehension of high-throughput genomic data. And today, we'll get a little bit of experience using a package called LME4 that's useful when dealing with mixed effects models and also models with random effects. So, Given that you're already attending this webinar, I don't know that I really need to provide a solid um, convincing statement of why you would want to use R. But to perhaps sway you a little bit more about why R may be good for you to use in your breeding program. So unlike a lot of other statistical software, R is freely available and doesn't require you to purchase a license or renew a license. As I mentioned, it's very powerful, and it's powerful not only for analyses, but also for creating publication quality figures. And many resources are constantly being developed and updated. And this is a real benefit when we think about um, genomic level analyses where the field is growing very quickly. And this allows developers to more easily keep up to date with techniques that are being applied. And there's also built-in help with R and uh, forums available online where you can obtain help with R. So one of the first and most obvious questions may be, how can I get R? So if you go to 
www.rproject.org. It'll take you to the R homepage, and if you scroll down um, into the download R section or the getting started section, you can go right there and download our software. So when when doing this, you'll be asked to choose what's called a CRAN mirror. And CRAN just stands for Comprehensive R Archive Network. And you'd like to select the mirror site that's closest to your location. And as you can see here, this is a list of mirrors and countries. And based on the fact that the first two countries listed are Argentina and Australia, you can tell that R is very much a global project with people all over the world working on it. And also that many countries have more than one mirror site from which you can download R. And to see more of these countries and select the country and location closest to you, you just need to scroll down the page. 